Grace Kelly by Mika is a song I'm talking you through today. If you've liked this video and you haven't already subscribed, if you could give it a like and subscribe, that would help me out tremendously. If you want the full drum notation for this song, I'll leave it in the link below. And don't forget to check out my cover of this song. I'll also leave the link below. So I'm gonna go through the main sections up to speed and then we'll break it down. So it starts off with this kind of rim clicking section. Have a listen, goes like this. Okay. So it's a swung song, got lots of triplety kind of rhythms, and I'll break it down so hopefully you know exactly what's going on. The first bar, now you see me kind of play on the rim, you could play it on the snare drum until you get it actually. Um, we've got a little drag, which is what the little note is before the cross. Um, forget the drag for now, the rhythm is going to go one and two, three and four. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. One and two, three and four. Now the second bar's got a three above the note, which is a triplet, which means you've got to swing them. Um, we're going to go one triplet, two, three triplet, four triplet. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. One triplet, two, three triplet, four triplet. Now the little note before the big note, so the very first note, got two tiny little notes. That is a drag. It's where you drag the stick before the big note. So we've got that first rhythm, Ba, ba, ba. You want to make sure you drag before your main note. Doesn't matter what hand goes first. Let's just practice a drag. We're going to play with our left hand first, following it through with our right hand. So we're going to drag, follow by our right. So we're going to go one and again, one and again, one, one more, one. If you find the drags hard, just stick to the main rhythm. The cross. Um, where the snare drum normally is means on the rim, but you can play it as a snare if you want to. Then the groove starts to pick up, uh, the bass drum kicks in. It's exactly the same rhythm, but we've got the bass drum. So now we're going to go, I'll do it all on the snare drum. We're going to go one and two, three and four. One triplet, two, three triplet, four triplet. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. One and two, three and four, one triplet, two, three triplet, four triplet. And it repeats that four times, or fifth, five times in total. The fifth time round, you, this is like the drum fill into the chorus. The fifth time round, we go T, T, Lucas Aid, Lucas Aid. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. And then we go into our chorus. Okay, so the snare drum comes in on the two and the four. Got that kind of swung, jazzy kind of groove on the hi-hat. The kick is on one, two, three, four, until we get to the second bar. Let's break it down. The first bar, we're going to go one, two, and three, four, and, and again, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and. Now the second bar, the kick joins in with the stabs that you can hear played by the rest of the band. The second bar goes one, two and three trip. The second bar goes one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. This is quite tricky, even slower. Three, four, one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Now you notice them tiny little kind of 70 kind of, like they look like sevens in the bar. These are quaver eighth note rests. Second bar again, three, Four, one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then the third bar is the same as what we've done. One, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then the fourth bar, we've got a little drum feel. It goes one, two, and three triplet, four triplet. And 
it goes back to the beginning. Um, let's do the four bars in a row. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet. And then it repeats, and then you play it again, and then you don't go in the one bar, it says one above it, you go straight to the second bar, uh, which is exactly the same, but we've got a little slightly different feel. The second bar, second time bar goes one, two, and three, high, high, floor, floor. Okay, um, and then we go back into the verse. The second verse, it does change a little bit. We've got a, a, flow, a, more, a slightly more flowy groove playing triplets on a hi-hat. So we're going to go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Our left hand's gonna wanna come to the snare here. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And again, two, three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then it goes to the kind of rim section that we've already talked about. Later on in the song, it goes to a kind of a half-time feel. Now, I'm not worried about any of the, um, uh, the fills or the crashes. It's on the ride cymbal, and we're just simply gonna, for now, just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we can add, you can add your own fills and crashes in. Um, you can if you want the full score, it's in the link in my description below. I'm not overly worried about the rest of it for now, it's just getting the feel of it. Let's just try it again. Three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it goes back into the grooves that we've already talked about. So add some crashes, add some feels, have some fun with this track, get the main groove sorted and then try and do your own stuff or just figure out what's on the track for the rest of it. Thanks for watching, see you soon.